We have been treated over the last few years of many exciting pictures that have been taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. I want to talk about one that uh, was released last year in 2012, which gives us a fascinating glimpse into the creation. If you take a picture of that's beside me right now, if you see that tiny little white square there, uh, that's the area of the sky we're talking about. Notice the uh, moon is superimposed there to show you this very tiny little piece. Basically what the researchers were looking for was a section of the night sky that had very few foreground stars. That would be stars in our own galaxy because they wanted to see deeper into space. So after finding this tiny little patch, and you can imagine if you were looking into the night sky and seeing the moon there, it would be just a very, very tiny little spot. What they did was collected over 10 years of uh, images that had been taken of that spot and combined them together into a uh, composite uh, time exposure, if you will, that would have been the equivalent of 23 days. And the picture you see there now is the production that they got from this research. It's known as the Hubble Extreme Deep Field. And if you look closely, you can see a few stars in the foreground and they're very evident, but most of what you see is a number of galaxies looking far, far into space. In fact, this field that you see there shows about 5,500 galaxies in this tiny little patch of space. In fact, the ones you see there, many of them, the fainter ones anyway, are one one billionth of what the uh, naked eye would able, ever be able to see. Each one of those galaxies, on average, it's estimated that each one of those 5,500 galaxies in that tiny little patch each contain over a billion stars. Part of what that is designed to do from our Creator is to impress us with Himself. David says it this way in Psalm 19.1. He says this, The heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament shows His handiwork. I just want to remind you today that, yes, indeed, we do have a great big God. The God who created this universe is bigger than all of it. He is beyond it all. In theological terms, we call that God's transcendence. He transcends even the creation. So let me just remind you about this. Sometimes we are tempted to tell God how big our problems are. Someone suggested that maybe we need to take that phrase and turn it upside down. Rather than telling God how big our problems are, we should spend more time telling our problems how big our God is. He's big enough to take care of this universe. He's big enough to take care of you. Find encouragement in that today. Thanks for joining me.